Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie, and today I'm going to do another cooking video. This time is even easier than the um, last one uh, about the scrambled egg stuff. So, um, a, a YouTube subscriber or a, yeah, fans <laughs> commenter said that can you do a video on salad? And then I I thought, oh wow, salad that is like super easy stuff. And so might as well we will do a, another video today showing you how to make salad yourself and the salad I'm going to do today is actually a no name salad so randomly um, like cooking is like this okay you just find whatever is there in the fridge and you make use of those shit so yeah let's uh, see what kind of shit we got today and we'll put it into the salad and make some nice dressing and stuff like that and I'm not using any um, pre-made pre-mixed salad dressing so just trying to make something up myself and hope it will be tasty so let's uh, get going and of course we got a GoPro right here so GoPro <laughs> okay let's get going first we need this um, so, uh, salad salad veggie <laughs> okay so romaine hearts is what we're gonna use I'm making two portions today so one should be enough but maybe a little bit more um, yeah one should be enough actually so I'll use one of these that's enough for two two portions so to prepare the um, veggie okay you want to wash it first before we do anything else so let's chop it off right here and wash it Okay guys, washing it under the sink, just rinsing it a bit. These things are actually quite clean already, uh, and so they're very safe to eat, even you don't really, you know, boil them, and uh, they're okay. So, wash them first. Glad my GoPro is actually waterproof. <laughs> wash with uh, cold water is the best, and try to, like, you know, get yourself kind of organized wash them one by one if you don't wash them um, they will kind of taste bitter so yeah wash them up okay so after rinsing it all okay it's best to have the uh, veggie also dried up a bit but you don't have to okay so you see all my veggies is here and basically it's all wet and shit so Okay, yeasty stuff, chop it up into small pieces like this. Ooh. I hope the water don't squirt up right into the GoPro. Destroy my nice angle. Okay, there we go. Try to go slower so the, the, the uh, water is not going to squirt up to the camera. Okay guys, there we go, all done. So. Try to put some of these into the a clean uh, bowl for mixing. So bottom, bottom, top, bottom, top. Mix it up, bottom and top. Okay, mix it up. Don't try to like put all the bottoms and then the top. You know, mix it up. It'll be, taste better. Okay, now these things are the red cheese is ready. Okay, let's look at our fridge and find something useful. Okay, guys, uh, so here we have some, we have a tomato, we have some white mushroom. Keep in mind that the white mushroom can be uh, eaten raw. You just need to, uh, to wash it. Okay, great. So let's wash the mushroom. It's best to use cold water and uh, soak it into cold water for a while first. So that all the dirt and mud will will uh, actually float, and for the um, for the tomato we can cut that first. And let's cut it up. We're gonna use it all today. So basically, we cut the tomato like this. Very easy. You see, my knife is quite okay sharp. Okay guys, so that's basically it. It's very easily done. And right now let's chop them up into smaller pieces so that it actually do taste better. 
okay? Maybe a little bit smaller too. The smaller the bits are in your salad, the better they taste. Okay, so let's put these into the bowl, like so. Very easy. We'll just use up these. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, so you can see the proportion. The tomatoes should not be too... Having our clean um, board again, we'll be cutting the mushroom and make sure that your mushroom is washed under water like so okay. make sure your mushrooms are washed and cleaned thoroughly with no dirt it's best to soak the mushrooms under uh, cold water first and then try to rub them one by one to clean them up thoroughly okay. 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 okay guys, as you can see my uh, proportion here, when you fill up the top, it's basically enough already. So let's uh, save up the mushroom first for, for next time. Okay guys, now we'll have cucumber and for cucumber there's a trick. Usually if you don't do this, your cucumber will taste kind of weird or uh, bitter, okay? Cut off the head and then take some salt. Okay, table salt. Take a spoon of table salt and put it onto the head like so. Okay, more is okay. And then, okay, and then rub it like this. When you do this, somehow, I don't know why, don't ask me why, okay? <laughs> somehow, your uh, cucumber will become more mild and it won't taste so bitter. So, you throw away the, uh, uh, the head. And now we're going to take the piece that we want to use today, which is here, it's just right. These, you can use a film wrap to wrap it back and store it. That, wash. Remember, wash. Okay. Now we're going to cut this in half. And, there we go. Save time. Okay guys, so we're done with cutting the cucumber. Make sure you cut them into thin slices. It's better than the thick slices. And now let's put them into the bowl. Very easy. Okay, done. Okay, what are we missing? We have lots of vegetables, lots of, uh, you know, green and shit. So yeah, we're missing some meat. now. From our last video, we used um, sausages, right? So today we'll be using those sausages too. And um, you can actually boil the sausages first and then uh, use it, or you can basically just use it like this. Okay guys, so here goes the sausages. You can actually boil them first, and then so we're gonna slice it, slice up the sausages. I think something like easier for people right now so these things are actually easier to find so you drop them in again like so okay one last ingredient to the salad okay guys this is the last ingredient I'll, uh, the second last ingredient I'll, I'll add uh, the German uh, sauerkraut this is actually really tasty okay I actually like the version uh, that is made with wine, but this here uh, is still okay. So we will take a chopstick 
to grab some. Okay. This here, the uh, socket is actually vegetables and they, you know, do some shit to it. It's like Korean kimchi, but this one is from German. <laughs> so you put some over the place. Okay. A bit more. Woohoo! Okay, so basically, there we go. The last thing I want to add is bacon. Bacon, bacon. Okay. Real bacon bits. These things are really good. And especially the real ones, not the artificial one, they taste really good. So let me just let me just put something on like that. Okay guys, so we are back here just like most cooking shows. Uh you you know somehow mysteriously just miss out a lot of cleaning steps and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and everything is gone from the table. So at the end right now, we want to make a sauce. Uh, the salad dressing. Well, that is very personal. You can actually add some uh, very yeasty stuff like, you know, ranch, uh, Thousand Island, whatever you like. You know, you can go to the shop and buy those stuff. But I don't have any here. What do I do, right? Get something, mix it yourself. Okay, let's try this shit out. <laughs> it's basically like doing science project right now. So I got some HP sauce. HP sauce. Okay. Um, this is the Lee Perlings, whatever. You know what this is, right? So, yeah. And we got black balsamic vinegar, which is really good shit. So let's use that. Vinegar. I'm using a very um, uh, transparent cup so you can actually see and there's no set uh, amount so just look at how I do it and copy <laughs> one uh, tablespoon or teaspoon of, of uh, sugar and a little bit more sugar okay, nothing special just sugar this is actually um, rock salt they're like purple okay look at that you use use this to grind a little bit into that okay and add this okay. just a little bit a few drops is fine this thing is really strong and then the HP sauce okay add a little dab of it this is like the stick sauce. Ooh. Just a dab of it is fine. You'll need a lot of that. Mix. Okay guys, what you want to do right now is taste. Okay, remember, um, cooking is actually very, very uh, personal okay so you want to like really kind of taste it first to see if you like the taste you're like hmm pretty good okay now let's mix it in okay okay guys so uh, now we're gonna mix it as you can see it's all there and you got all the dressings and stuff so all you do is just mix Okay guys, so, okay guys, now let's uh, put some of these shit into the bowl and we are all good to go. Wow, look at that. Okay, all you need to do now is, is scoop things up, eat it, and shit. Wow, very easy. See? There goes our salad. Basically... It's simple as that, nothing more. Okay, I think it's enough just for the camera purpose. But here you see, we got a lot of salad made with just one uh, of those veggie. See, so it's very filling, and this portion is more than enough for two uh, two person. Okay, let's uh, try the taste test. <clears throat> okay, guys, so this is my bowl. This one, let us try. 
Okay guys, so let's try it out and see how it feels. Taste. So, there we go. Blend of veggie and uh, and the mushroom there. Hmm. It's pretty super really damn good. Wow. Surprise. The um tomato juice is squirting out while you're like on the mushroom. Pretty cool. I like it. Mm. You know what? I would like more sauce and maybe the sauce to be a bit stronger in the vinegar. That I can add later on, you know. But, yeah, actually I do quite like the balsamic vinegar. <laughs> um, well, beside the um, crazy tomato, the mushroom with the balsamic uh, vinegar is actually quite tasty. <laughs> it removed the um, very mushroom kind of taste and filled that up with something else. It's pretty unique. Yeah, pretty cool. I quite like the fact that um, there's a lot of juice in this uh, salad and also it's, you know, you see it's pretty easy to make. It's within like 10 minutes you're ready to go. So there we go. Salad for you guys. <laughs> so hope you guys like it. And remember cooking is very personal. You can adjust the ingredients yourself and also adjust the sauce yourself to your own likings and uh, there you go have fun remember to subscribe and like bye bye